Boom, 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 boom. Welcome back. Welcome back to Morris's Polo Review Channel. Today we'll be talking about what is on my mannequin and uh, just talk about fashion. You know what I mean? So, first and foremost, let me go ahead and get this out the way. Um, we lost Virgil. Um, if anybody don't know who Virgil is or was, he was the uh, fashion designer for Louis Vuitton, also one of Kanye West's closest friends. Um, and I want to say that Kanye helped him along his way as far as his career, and um, he is the creator of Off-White Shoes. Um, yeah, took it sort of hard just because, you know, it wasn't necessarily uh, the Louis Vuitton uh, situation, but just, you know, his passion for designing also, his vision that he had for his own brand, which is Off-White. If anybody know anything about Off-White, Off-White is a, he, it's like Yeezys, but it's Virgil edition. It is not Virgil, it's Off-Whites. Um, he created the Off-White Nike shoes um, in the beginning, just to let you, just to run it down a little bit. In the beginning, Nike gave, Nike gave him total design of the top 10 selling shoes of Nike, which are the Jordan 1s, the um, the Jordan 1s, 2s, just recently came out, 3s, 4s, 6s. No, he didn't do 6s. He just, I think he just did out the 5. Um, Virgil was very inspirational as far as um, his style. He was very uh, artistic, you know what I'm saying, as far as his... Uh, creative juices, you know what I'm saying, it's to create a flow, um, and I was a fan, I am still am a fan, I'm sort of, I'm, I'm really, you know what I'm saying, a little upset that we did, you know, we didn't know about his illness, you know, and he died of cancer, I think colon cancer, if I'm not mistaken, um, yeah, it's just been a tough week, also, I believe two weeks now ago, we lost Adolf, if you don't know who he is, young Dolph, um, 36-year-old male, Memphis, Tennessee, artist. Um, love this story, too. You know, you have these people that you see. You don't know them personally. You know what I'm saying? I don't know none of these people personally, but I know their stories. You know what I'm saying? The backdrop behind the backdrop. And, um, you know, very inspirational young young man who um, went independent, the independent route as far as uh, being an artist. Um, man, loved his kids. Just so much violence going on out here in the world today, man. It really makes you really just stop and think. You know what I'm saying? Like, for the ones that's my age, I would say 40 and up, you know, this is, you know, this is our youth, you know? This is something that we're going to have to think about. You know, I mean, it's got to be a better way, you know, just being honest. I mean, we all have our flaws in life and we all can get hot headed, you know, at times. But at the same time, we got to start pe um, speaking you know, wisdom in these kids, you know what I'm saying? To let them know they're, they're valued, you know? They're not necessarily uh, crash dummies, you know? When I was coming up, they used to say, it's a lot of y'all crash dummies out here. And now that I'm older, I understand what they were talking about. Crash dummies, you know? You got a body, but you ain't got no sense. You know, you ain't got no sense of uh, substance, you know? So, yeah, so I'm sort of kind of been reflecting here lately and also you know um doing a little inventory you know what i'm saying this was basically what this video is about checking your inventory as far as mentally um spiritually financially you know just checking your inventory you know we all get to run on fumes here and there but at the same time you gotta keep on pushing you gotta keep on moving forward you know as far as life you know, don't give up on it. You know, just because people give up on you, that don't mean you give up on yourself. Because as soon as you give up on yourself, guess what? You have to lower some lows. So I'm just trying to speak some truth and knowledge out here what's going on. Um, so we can talk about what's on my mannequin. I'm doing the Aztec print um sweater. I got back maybe like six months ago or something like that. I just did it with this this vintage piece, and I just felt you know, um, wholeheartedly that these two pieces were meant to be together <laughs> with the oranges. You got the oranges, you got the um, reds, you got the blues, you got the grays, and you got the whites. 
You know, just a just a different type of look, different type of vibe. You got the khaki on the jacket with all of the utility um, pockets on the side. You know, leather tab up here, which is dope. You know, I had caught this jacket, I want to say maybe like three or four years back. And I just, I can't let it go, you know. But, you know, also this video is about checking your inventory. You know, we all have a lot of clothes, you know, myself included. And, you know, um, spur of the moment purchases. Um, the reason why I'm speaking on it, because you got to check your inventory. You know, you got to go over a few things. You got to go over what you had in your life as far as uh, your style. So you don't get to the point where you're going to see an item that you purchased maybe two and a half, three years ago. And you're like, man, when I got that out, that was it. You know, that's what I wanted. But now you're like, yeah, I done grew out of it. So you gotta let it go, you know, and that's where I'm at. You know, um, all my heat pieces I'm keeping. Um, you know, just certain little little things that um, tend to just linger around. And, here, and this is what I mean by linger around because um, we all do it. You have a certain item that you tend to grab, you know, or wear every day you off. We have all these clothes, so, Utilize them, you know, don't let them just sit and um, start getting a little smell on them or whatever the case may be. Start wearing your clothes. And that's why I come, that's why I came to terms with. Start wearing your clothes, man. Just don't keep on grabbing your favorite jogging suit or your favorite pair of sweatpants and a pair of shorts and a pair of shoes. I mean, switch it up sometimes. That's why we buy these clothes. That's why we go to work hard. That's why we go to work. And that's why you work hard to get certain items that you like, that you want to wear, that you want to feel good in. So, you know, it's just this. This is a more of a motivational video for my viewers because of the simple fact we talk positivity all the time, and we got to stay on positive time. The thing about it is, um, Ralph Lauren is my vice. You know, this is what I do when I'm off. This is what I like to to do. You know, I like to you know, look the rugby way, you know, whatever the case may be. I love the Ralph Lauren look, but at the same time, I was still in that mindset, just grab these shirts, just grab these sweatpants. This is what I'm doing today. There's nothing wrong with having a down day. Trust me, I have them. But at the same time, feel good about yourself and put on some clothes and go out there, you know, and enjoy life. You know what I'm saying? Not necessarily doing too much, just keeping it, you know, clean and classy, you know, and not necessarily doing too much. So that's why I'm at as far as my progression in life. Um, also, just having a better thought process as far as being positive. You know what I'm saying? You want to be positive in life, man. Even though if the world is against you, you still got to be positive in life. Positivity what rules the earth. <laughs> you got to be positive, man. You can't be negative. And if you get around and a whole bunch of negative people, guess what? Get from around them. Don't waste your time with negative people. Get with people who are going to influence you in the right direction. People who are going to push you to do the right things and all of that good stuff in life. You know what I mean? So I thank you for coming to Marcy Polo View Channel. Today is just more of a motivational speech, you know. Um, also, Ralph Lauren is uh, they're sending out 25% off your total purchase coupons. Make sure you get them. You know, um, right now is the time to buy, especially around Christmas time. Um, I went to Calhoun, um, Calhoun Outlet today. They had a lot of stuff um, for kids, knits for kids, nice little sweaters for women. You know, for us men, they had, you know, a nice, some nice little stuff over there. So, you know, get out, enjoy life, you know, get that little 25% off coupon, go shopping. You know, if you work, you know, you work hard for it, you might as well, you know, spend some on yourself, make yourself feel better. Ain't nothing wrong with it. You before anybody. Understand what I just said? You before anybody outside your kids and your wife, but or whoever your partner is. But it's okay to spoil yourself sometimes. We all need that. You know, going going through life and taking care of others and taking care of others and taking care of others, you get a self-gratification of doing that. But at the same time, please yourself sometime. It's okay. There's nobody who's going to be mad about it. 
please yourself. You work hard for it. Enjoy life. We only got this thing called life. We get to go through it one time and one time only. So make the best of whatever you got going on and be positive. So with that being said, like, share, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Right now we're hovering around 670. Let's try to get up to about 800. You know what I'm saying? We need more positive influence in today's work. I'm just trying to be one of them. So thank you for coming to Marcy Polo Review Channel. Um, also, for those on Instagram, follow me, MO underscore 55. If you're looking for a reseller, the one that I will recommend will be Low T. Um, great, great great people you know they're gonna they'll take care of you um like i say hard to find items here get them for you so with that being said thank you for coming to marty's phone love you channel y'all have a great weekend stay safe stay masked up and keep your hands sanitized salute and enjoy